Hello, Earthlings. It is Tony. I'm Tiffany. And together, rotating around the sun together with everyone listening, we are Tiffany Tony. What's up, guys? What's up, Tiffany? What a, what a week we've had celebrating my birthday and enjoying a whole week off with you, which was fantastic. Yeah, seven days off. It was nice. It was nice. Much needed. Oh, yeah. Like, just like that trip to Santa Cruz, like, just having this whole week off with the family really, really helped. I don't want to go back to work, but I have to. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. And then, and then when you get home, I gotta go to work and do, do some DoorDash because we need some moolah. Mm-hmm. For sure. Yeah, like I, I was telling Tiffany earlier, we always get the shit in the stick, but we always we always come up on top. Yeah. It'll take us a while, but we get there. That's true. Yeah. Like we're gonna do a life of crime. We're gonna like do like pyramid schemes and shit. Oh my god. We're gonna scam people, bro. No. Nah, I don't want to be a scammer. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but yeah, today was cool. We were, we wanted to do more deliveries, but we didn't really get a lot of deliveries today. Kind of, actually, the past couple of days have kind of sucked when it came to like Uber and DoorDash. Yeah, well, it, it's like the middle of the month. So. Yeah, that's true. Oh, but Wait. but yeah, this weekend it's gonna be uh, was it uh, St. Patrick's Day? Yeah, so it should be pretty busy. It should be super busy. So I'm excited for that. Yeah, because for sure, because they already um, put on Facebook that they were going to have a lot of checkpoints because they know people are going to go all crazy about St. Patty's Day and like get super drunk, so. Yeah. For sure, there's probably going to be a lot of people delivering stuff. Yeah. I think I should, like, get, like, a little, like, a sign on my window, like, <laughs> Uber. Or Uber Eats and, like, DoorDash. That way I'm like, yo, I'm, I'm fucking delivering, bro. I'm not. Out here drinking. Yeah. You're like, I'm not celebrating nothing. Oh. I'm out here getting the green. <laughs> not drinking green fucking food colored beer. Beer. <laughs> That's so gross. <laughs> it looks disgusting. But anyway. So yeah, since we didn't get a lot of deliveries today, we ended up uh, getting lunch, like some sandwiches from Rayleigh's because Rayleigh's sandwiches are super bomb. Oh. If you haven't had a Rayleigh's sandwich, you need to. You're missing out. Missing out. And then, <laughs> Addie likes to get, like, um, Rayleigh's is, like, pre-made or ready-made, like, sushi rolls. Yeah. You know, it's imitation crab. It has, like, celery, or not, it's not celery, cucumber and avocado in them. Mm -hmm. So, those are, like, her favorite things, so she likes them. So, she got that, and Mimi got, like, chicken strips with her potato wedges that she likes, and then we got our... <laughs> our Sammy. Yeah. A sandwich. So Man. good. Hell, yeah. That mayonnaise. Mm. I don't know what it is about their mayonnaise. I know. That mayonnaise is like... It's, it's What do the kids say? It's goaded? <laughs> what does that even mean? I don't fucking know. Oh my god. But anyways. So we're just chewing on our... Um, what is it? Berries and cherries. Um, sour Tro gummy worms? Gummy worms. Trollies? Trollies? The trollies, I think. Yeah, trollies, yeah. yeah. And yeah. then we're drinking... The Mountain Dew Zero Sugar Pitch Black, which is the bomb. We've been getting it from the 99 cent store. Yeah. That's like the only place that we've actually like found it like repetitively. Yeah. that They have a fresh stock of it every time we go in. Yeah. It, yeah. And it's like the cheapest you can find it. The cheapest. And also the cool thing about like the dollar store, 99 cent store, is they always get those obscure drinks, you know? Yeah. Those random ass drinks that, you know. So it's like cool. Like, like at the... Dollar Tree, they have Jones sodas, mm -hmm. and I love Jones sodas. And oh my god, Adeline loves the fucking apple one. Yeah, that so really good. yeah, so yeah, man. They're remodeling the Dollar Tree right next to us, so yeah, it's nice. And they're remodeling the Dollar Tree, the McDonald's, again, Dutch Bros. Oh yeah, a lot of stuffs coming to that area. So well, really in a in a cane ra ra raising canes. I think it might be raising canes. I don't know. They're building something. Yeah, or the old. And a, a Jamba, a Jamba Juice, right? 
the Jamba Juice, yeah, it's going to be connected to that gas station. I think it's like a Pizza Hut Jamba Juice and gas station or something. That's tight. Yeah. So this should be interesting. Ooh, Pizza Hut. Yeah, we're getting a lot of stuff around here, so it's nice. Yeah, a little, little love in the barrio. <laughs> I mean, even having that in and out in series, like, now we have options. Yeah, Like, definitely. before it'd be like, oh, do you want to drive all the way to Manesso, or do you want to spend the money to DoorDash something from Manesso? But now it's like, oh, okay, well, it's here in town. Yeah, we got, like, our side of series is getting love, man. Yeah, definitely. Which is cool. It's crazy, like, like, we, you know, we're, our, our side of town's getting love, you know? Yeah. Love it. Love, love to see, to see it. it. <laughs> 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 but yeah, so, like, we, um had a little lunch together and then we were originally going to have a picnic and it was supposed to be sunny but I guess it was like cloudy and cold and too windy so we ended up eating um the sandwiches and sushi and stuff there <laughs> and then we made our way to uh, the fruit yard to go to the duck pond yep like we mentioned before that was like always one of mine and Tony's favorite places to go so it's been nice like every couple months we've been taking the girls to go feed the ducks yeah, once, Al, yeah. Yeah, once the weather's nice, we could start taking out a line more. She loves yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. She always like brings it up too. She's like, "When was she ducks?" Yeah, I'll go feed ducks. <laughs> she just says the ducks are the are the house, the beach house. Oh yeah. Yeah, but, but yeah. Oh, so man. that was nice. Like, even from the last time we took them there, they've gotten so much bigger. Yeah. And like you just compare the pictures, and it's like, wow. I know they they went up like two sizes. Oh, Mimi went up two sizes, man. Oh, for sure. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's a trip. It is a trip. That's nice. So yeah, it's it's been a nice uh seven days off. Like I'm dreading going back to work. So I have to work five days straight, then one day off, and then two days, and then two days off. So my schedule's gonna be all fucked up again until it gets back to normal. <laughs> yeah. But um Yeah, it's been pretty good. I really like the strain that we smoked. At first I was freaking out. <laughs> yeah. But now I'm like Back to like my talkative. Yeah. So. Was it Wi Fi? Yeah. Yeah. It, was it the white white OG or something like that? White fire OG? Yeah, I think it's because I was getting a lot of the sativa first and then it like calmed down and then now I'm getting like the indica, the chill, cool, <sighs> laid back high. There you go. Cool. Oh, well, I'm glad you're not freaking out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's always funny to. See Tiffany freak out with like these strains because I know, like, wow, well, it's pretty good then. Because, <laughs> like, I guess I have a really high high tolerance, yeah. And Tiffany, like, right away it hits her, like, right away. So, I'm like, oh, it might be good. <laughs> so, you could kind of tell the intenseness of it when you could see if I'm freaking out or not. You're <laughs> like my canary in my fucking tunnel <laughs> oh, underground, bro. Shit. If you collapse, I'm going back up for air, you know. <laughs> <laughs> G-Links That's a good metaphor, huh? <laughs> I guess <laughs> Good analogy Good, good analogy, yeah uh, uh, <laughs> I mean, yeah, like I said, it's, it's been nice I'm like sad Because I have to go back Because all the time with the girls You know Yeah like, Yeah, I mean You know, I miss all your help, you know When you're at work and I'm watching the girls like I said, like I've told Tiffany, like uh, you know, off you know when we're not podcasting that, you know I've you know, you know I've always appreciated her watching the girls when I worked full time. But then now that you know, you know I lost my job and I'm watching the girls and she's working more. Like it, it's hard, man. They're a stay at home parent, you know, it, it's hard. It sucks. It's mentally draining, bro. It really is. And I appreciate all the hard work you did all those years. And now and then that what year, almost a year. Or from when I got hurt till now, yeah. taking care of a newborn, a grown ass man, and a two year old, three year old. <sighs> Crazy. Yeah. You deserve an award. <laughs> Thank you, baby. Yeah, man. I'll be nice to you for one day. Uh, oh I deserve to be worshipped now. Oh yeah, I do worship you. Worship that ass. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um. <laughs> um, but yeah. Well, that makes me happy. That makes me, like, happy to hear because, like, you know, it sucks, like, when you you feel, like, hella burnt out and, or underappreciated or, like, you know, you just, it sucks because, like, 
even now, like, I sometimes only get three days work days. And, like, I think once out of the month they've been giving me four days to work in one week. But usually it's only three days a week. So it's, like, I'm still only working 24 hours. So I'm still here the other four days a week with the girls. But it is harder, you know, when you're alone. When you're alone with them. Definitely. I mean, like, because I feel that feeling back to it. um, Like, when you go door dashing for three or four hours, like... Then I feel like, oh, like, it's just back to just me, like, doing everything and, like, you know, kind of have a little, like, like triggering, like, PTSD. Because it's, like, yeah. you know, Addy is going to be four in, like, what, three or four months. Mm. So that's, like, already, like, almost four years of doing that with just her. And then, like, the year and a half with Mimi. And it's, like, dang, like, no wonder, like, it affected me so much, you know, it affected my mental health. Because that was me day in and day out. Or, like... Sometimes when you'd have to work, like, six day stretches or something, like, then it's just, like, dang, it's, like, six days of, like, being, you know what I mean? And it was just, like, you know, so it was really mentally draining and challenging. And then trying to, like, keep up with the girls and keep up with me, keep up with, like, the chores and all that. So it is nice. Like, if you notice, like, some days, you know, yeah, I do clean up and 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 I'm upkeeping the living room and I make dinner and I'm, like, yeah. But there's some days where it's just, like, fuck, like. That shit doesn't work out like last time, and the girls want everything completely different. Different. You're like, Fuck. You thought you figured it out, then you gotta figure another fucking thing out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> and then that's why sometimes those days I'd have dinner late, or like I wouldn't do laundry, and I was supposed to do laundry, and I'd always be like, oh, I get it. couldn't get around to it. And sometimes you really can't. You barely have time to eat. Yeah, and legit. Like I only drink. Like those days, I only drink coffee. And so by the time you get home, I get the shakies. I'm like, oh, like freaking out because. I'm just, I'm just like literally digesting caffeine. You know? Yeah, or like me, it'd be like crumbs or bites or whatever they didn't finish. And I remember when you would get home, like say when you would work six to two thirty, two thirty. I'm like, oh, go to your home, like I can eat. I haven't eaten anything all day. You'd be like, what do you mean you haven't eaten anything all day? I'm like, I haven't eaten anything. So like, really, I wouldn't eat at all. Like, yeah, yeah. So it's like it's nice to be able to you to be able to relate to me now. Because before it was kind of hard for you to understand. Yeah. But I feel like now you could like think back to all those moments where I was just like. <laughs> no, yeah, dude. Like, yeah. I know. There's some days where you get home and you don't like take the girls right away. I'm like, if you don't take this motherfucking child for me, I'm going to lose my goddamn <laughs> shit because all oh my god, dad needs five minutes alone. Yeah. Like, and that would be like when you'd be like, oh, I'm home. I'm going to eat and then shit. And I'm like. <laughs> So then, like, it would be delayed, like, an hour or two. And even then, I wouldn't still have a long time because I'd eat, be up to breastfeeding one or cleaning up their mess. And then I'd go to the bathroom and they'd follow me. But it's like, yeah, I would be like, okay, yeah. I need to get to girls. Because there was lots of times where you wouldn't yeah. either because, like, you have to go to the bathroom, you have to eat, you have to, you know. Yeah. So it was, it was rough. Oh, man. Like, when COVID happened, I had to, like, shower and... That was hard. Yeah. Ugh. Take my shoes off. Sanitize. Oh, God. <laughs> I remember that. Fuck that shit, bro. I know. I hate the smell of Lysol. And, then, and then now... I, no, I've always hated it. But now because of the fucking pandemic, like, I hate it even more. <laughs> you know? Yeah. yeah. Well, I love you, Tiffany. And thank you for spending this week with us and thank you for giving me an amazing birthday 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 week post and pre birthday celebration i will always appreciate it because i've never had anyone make me so feel so special like you have ever in my life and i appreciate that i appreciate that so much okay okay like it's almost like I get upset because I'm like, how do I, how do I like take that, you know? How do I receive that, that feeling? Because I've never had it. And we've been together, what, 13 years? And I still don't know how to receive that gratitude for me. I'm like, fuck. It's overwhelming sometimes, you know? Yeah. But I appreciate you, okay? Yeah, man. Anyways. Fuck you. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. Okay. Uh, 
Yeah, let's watch some TV because I'm really high right now. <laughs> okay. We're going to uh, catch up on Mandalorian right now. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Forgot about that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. We'll see you okay. later. Bye. Later.